Hey guys, welcome back to another Windows 10 Mobile Technical Preview Reviews video. So Microsoft has rolled out uh, built-in 586.164 just a few hours back exactly. If I say it's uh, 7 to 8 hours before and it is a mass cumulative update for Windows 10 Mobile as according to the Microsoft community. There is links down below there. You can check that in the show more notes. So this is another kind of uh, patch of things that you can say. Uh, which another is brings another stability and performance improvement not exactly performance improvement, but kind of bug fixes uh, by seeing the change log I can say it's only the bug fixes nothing much improved so we will see the what are the change logs has been done so I will be uh, showing you the first impression with the two devices 630 and 1020 and both have been updated to Windows 10 mobile uh, built in 5.164 and let me quickly show you guys the build number in case you want to see and uh, why uh, 520 i'm not wanting guys that's a very old phone and uh, it makes your impression very bad in case you're willing to update it there so you can see two devices with two same build number 10586.164 uh, all right so let's begin so i'm just going to read quickly and going to explain you what are the change logs has been done the first change log that microsoft has mentioned is the improvement for the reliability of the app notification including text messages and alarms not ringing as schedules so let me explain you all these things so alarms i can say it was perfectly working and because i'm using this alarms daily to woke up around 4 30 to 4 a.m the morning so i can say it's working for me maybe some users have these issues and also uh, text messaging there were some issues guys let me explain you how suppose you install the whatsapp and all the messenger right now they need uh, you know phone verification system so uh, when you dial type in your number and you're waiting for either four digit or six digit otp code so uh, you might have noticed if you're running Windows and mobile that uh, suppose you are on the WhatsApp uh, where the, it shows the screen you have to type your the uh, all the code six digit and you're waiting to get on the notification screen but it was not showing up uh, there were some issues when you go to the messaging app you can check out there you may find that the same was there but no, it won't come to the notification pane so I guess that that was the issue and uh, I need I, I will try to reset the all the social messages account that I have maybe I can then when I will make the again deep new video maybe in the one or two days later I will cover all these things so that was the issue has been fixed and uh, Change, is, change number two is the improvement for the text message backup to reduce data and the battery usage. So if you remember, I have already mentioned a couple of times in my previous video that sometimes backup gets stuck or failed and shows some error and that error code exactly when you search on the web, it shows uh, it, Windows was unable to restore uh, take backup of couple of the messages. Uh, uh, I don't know what was the problem with that, but uh, uh, seems like uh, this issue has been fixed. So I already have ran a backup today. Uh, maybe I can show you guys exactly. Uh, it was working fine, I guess. I didn't check after running that. Mm, so go to the more options. You can see here. Last backup time it will show. So the last backup was on 9th uh, of March 8.17. Just uh, 20 minutes before to that. Uh, 19 minutes. So I think that issue has been fixed. And no problem on that one. And so maybe some users have these issues. Because most of the changes log I see, uh, it was mentioned like for some users, that means it uh, depends on geographic area, network and bandwidth connection. Some users may face some problems. All right. So now the change number three uh, fixes for the Microsoft Edge with address bar suggestions showing late or persisting during navigation. So the let me show you guys what is exactly. So for example, if you type Microsoft, uh, see, uh, these are all the apps or links that you've already opened. So the issues was there, uh, if you have noticed a couple of the demo videos for me exactly on the 640 XL. So I was trying to show the guys as demo and I already mentioned uh, that suppose I select this app link, first link. So it all the navigation bar links were showing constantly. So to do that, you need to uh, swipe up the navigation bar and go back there, do a refresh. So a couple of, uh, you know, juggling you have to do, then you will be able to fix that thing. So this issue has been fixed because as you can see, uh, it is perfectly open now. All right. And uh, other point they mentioned is uh, close all tabs. So I guess that was fixed guys, because uh, I've shown you on the previous build, it was mentioned in the previous change log too. Uh, if you open a new tab here and just type in some address and now go to the tab selection, close all tabs. So it was mentioned same in dot one double two build and we verified that it was working too. So for I guess for some users still that issue was not fixed and word flow on the address bar not functioning. So uh, this is uh, this is what I uh, suppose this you want to type something address bar and uh, 
as you can see uh, this is working right now so earlier it wasn't detecting very much even though it's not that much damn good for example if i just press hard anywhere then it is not taking time and it's not taking it went to caps lock and but anyway uh, this uh, swipe issues has been fixed you can see it easily taking for the navigation bar workflow steps is working so these are the third changes and coming to the fourth change we have uh, fixed a problem where microsoft account was not detected by outlook mail outlook calendar people app attempting to add a new contact in the state caused the problem caused the people app to crash for some users so indirectly uh, it's related to outlook app uh, calendar and people app crashing issues uh, for me it was working guys all of the phones except one phone uh, maybe some users have that but uh, uh, it's the first time I found uh, you can check out this is a video title for the Lumia 520 I just uploaded yesterday night or mor maybe morning uh, I shown you a couple of fridges in which I opened the Microsoft Outlook app and the phone completely got freezed out So if you guys want to check that issue so you can watch that previous Lumia 520 demo video It was here in the show more notes detail link you can find out there or you can click it here too so this is the issue and uh, other phones they don't have any problem because I'm running four to five Lumia phones all are working very smooth Outlook calendar stuffs it's working perfectly and change number five we have fixed for a problem that caused the wi-fi connection to temporarily switched off after prolonged use for some users so guys my phones are always turned off not from today but from i guess from years uh, i i haven't switched off maybe the battery already is completely dried out and it is turned off so uh, i never found any issues with the wi-fi syncing uh, some comments i have in the youtube in which people say their wi-fi issues were there i guess that was on dot seven one or dot one zero seven build so hopefully this issue has been fixed for the users if i get report from other users definitely in the coming backup uh, sorry in the coming demo videos i will try to show you guys exactly what is this thing so and then Change number six is the fix for a problem that caused the first parity app updates to fail to install successfully for some users. Again, as you can see, for some users, and leaving the apps in the state where they can be launched. So let me tell you guys what is exactly first parity app. If you don't know, a first parity app gets data directly from an online platform without going through third-party servers. For example, if you are a Facebook user and you are a Facebook's first parity, right? So Facebook company's first parity users are you guys, uh, we guys who are using the Facebook app because we are getting directly data from the Facebook and uh, you may want the ability to manipulate, understand and use your Facebook data in ways uh, that satisfy your needs and you deserve to do so without others looping on you. So first party app would allow you to utilize the API of the platform without data going to the third party. I mean, there is no third party interactions. So that's how it things work. For example, WhatsApp, uh, we are the first parity users and uh, some of these big platforms have, uh, they don't depend on the third party stuff. So we are the first parity users and this is the and when you find and when you reset them uh, when you install the and you build again so some of the apps uh, uh, may need to because once i found facebook app was not getting installed so i need to uninstall it there and download it again so that was the issue so i need to re-log in again such for the password stuff so this issue has been fixed and the change number seven is improvement of the battery usage bluetooth connectivity and os reliability so in in this they clearly mentioned battery usage bluetooth connectivity and os reliability so if i remember bluetooth connectivity was mentioned in dot 107 build so maybe some issues microsoft has got from feedback app but i have used bluetooth as working fine os reliability that i will check with this small guy 520 because it was a damn freezing guys i freezed all, all the time so i will check that too and the battery usage as you can see uh, i have charged all my device to 100 percent this went to 96 percent and this is still to 100 percent uh, i will check uh, i will make it deep review video when the phone will completely powered off or 100 to 0 percent dried out so as of now you can see uh, how much the battery it was showing let us check so it shows two days five hours all right so hopefully uh, with the previous build itself the, the build is very fine i i got uh, more than a day backup around 16 to 18 hours i got because i do couple of filmings too with this phone so i got very good backup and 640 xl is giving i uh, surprisingly got three days backup let me show you guys exactly the battery usage for this uh, lumia 630 so it is 95% uh, charge it shows uh, two days eight hours and it is getting more than uh, around uh, one day and sometime we near me to two days because it's a very old phone one and a half year old so and this is two years old so we can expect that too but 640 xl minus is new one so it gives more than two days backup i can honestly say that anyway i can give you guys a screenshot too and now coming to solution experience uh, uh, there was a different different suggestion for each phone and because when i downloaded this on the 520 and uh, let me show you guys exactly you can see uh, right here uh, for the 1020 i got the size of 686.73 and uh, 
for the Lumia 640 XL, uh, I got 772.10 MB. So roughly you can figure out that the average size of installation maybe depends from uh, six uh, minimum to 650 uh, to if I see uh, uh, how much size was there on the 520. So I guess on the 520 it was. So again, hang up. I don't know. You can see. Damn phone. So it's it's not less than 650 and maximum it can go to 770 or 780. Obviously you can say 802 because of the 1520 and some other phones. So that's all the installation sizes and all installation takes very less time uh, because my speed is very fast in download in 8 Mbps least time so I get download very easily. And this is take usual way to install I guess 20 to 30 minutes depends completely migrating data all the stuff. So now we will see a couple of the performance thing uh, guys. Let's see. So I am going to open a few of the apps in front of you. Maybe you can visualize and see how much time it's taking to. For example, uh, this uh, store I am going to open in both place. So you can see. So I thought to cover from this time or some couple of the phones in the performance because uh, some people commented that maybe you can include more than one phone. So everything is works fine. Uh, it's opening. Uh, 1020 has some much uh, faster RAM, so it handles stuff. All the connected to the same network. So now let's see open some of the Outlook apps and Microsoft oh, calendar is open now Microsoft Outlook app you can see so 630 year wins so it's not about comparing I just want to show you guys exactly how much time it takes and uh, messaging app let's see so anyway 1020 I was really impressed uh, the performance is really improved uh, now let me show you guys windows camera how does it works because uh, camera is the most important factor so go to the C here and you will see the camera stuff I mean, let me take picture of this Microsoft mouse so camera is taking time here in 630 as you can see it takes real time now we'll try to see uh, capturing of image using 1020 And let me open the Lumia camera in front of you. Maybe you have seen that one too. So here's Lumia camera. Anyway, Windows camera is now much better if you don't want the DNG camera. DNG images, sorry. So both are extremely fast, no problem at all. And uh, let's open Microsoft Edge and see how is the performance varies there. So here's the Microsoft Edge in both places. If I click here and together. So they all works fine. Uh, no issues on that. So this is how performance goes guys, it's very fine and smooth. And uh, there are a couple of things guys, uh, I got a lot of comments like uh, people are asking for demo on the 730 and the comparison on stuff. So uh, let me show you guys exactly for example 640 XL is exactly the same configuration as the Lumia 730. So you can watch the 630, uh, 640 XL video and 730 will be exactly have the same performance. You don't need to think twice, just uh, uh, layout and screen size. For, uh, Experience may be different, but performance will be always same. And I have some comments that uh, here Maps is not able to log in with Facebook. I need to check out that. Let's uh, see the Instagram beta app is a new one that uh, ported from the uh, Facebook APIs. So some issues there. This is a beta app. So I will close it and try again. Let's open the regular Instagram app. We don't have here. So it's open fine, no problem at all. I do a lot of Instagram because I post a couple of videos, uh, photos daily. So go to the OneNote app and see. So I just pressed this one earlier. So it's fine and no problem issues. And let me see exactly how a game load here and let me try to load Asphalt 8 and see uh, how much it takes time. So you can watch the 1020 video in case you guys want to check performance. So I will show you guys how much time it takes. So anyway, I will be covering uh, all the deep reviews starting from tomorrow as soon as my phone's battery get dried off because that's why I used to do honest review. Once the phone completely dried, I used to turn and see uh, how much it performs. I used to write during the trips as you can see here, right? I have a notebook here. I used to retain everything but I used to give demo. So as of moment, I cannot say because it's uh, Windows stuff until you won't reboot. Uh, you see a lot of magic here and uh, let me close uh, you can see the multitasking also very fine and let me show the multitasking here too so it's fine 
So anyways guys stay tuned and thanks for watching again. I will come back soon with all the detailed reviews. So in case you have any question let me know in the comments. And if you like the video give me a thumbs up and stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day ahead.